This video is a brief introduction to the pull-down assay. Pull-down assay is an in vitro affinity purification method used to detect or confirm an interaction between two or more proteins. The study of protein-protein interaction is important to understand the function of the protein of interest and the relevant biological pathways. Protein-protein interaction might happen between a ligand and its receptor, an antigen and its antibody, an enzyme and its substrate. In pull-down assay, we often use a known protein as a bait to detect an unknown protein, the pre. First, the recombinant DNA plasmid that carries the gene of interest fused to a specific tag is used to obtain the tagged bait protein. Then, a whole cell lysate containing the tagged protein is incubated with an affinity resin. For example, if we use the good cyan S transferase tagged bait, the good cyan resin is the ligand. If we use the Hays tagged bait, the nickel resin is the ligand. Thus, we can get the tagged protein immobilized on the affinity resin. The pre-protein might be obtained from different sources, such as cell lysate, purified proteins, expression systems, or in vitro transcription and translation. All the proteins, except for the pre interacting with the bait, will flow through the corner, and those unbound proteins can be washed away. The interacting protein will bind and we use the elution buffer to disrupt the protein-protein interaction and then connect the bait and pre-proteins. Through an analysis using Western blot or mass spectrometry, a predicted protein-protein interaction can be confirmed or an unknown interaction can be detected. In summary, Pull-down assay is an in vitro affinity purification method for detecting protein-protein interactions. It is often used to isolate novel proteins that interact with the known protein of interest, or to confirm or predicted interaction between two or more proteins. The affinity resin is washed, and then the pre bound to the bait is eluted from the resin. The proteins in the eluted sample can be analyzed using mass spectrometry or Western blood. Thank you for watching.